Hello, men. I'm joined by two men today. Two Hello. Men. Yeah. Greetings. Right. It's Kiko. Do we, do we and names? Or... Yeah, you can do that. Hello. Alright. <laughs> okay. Today we are doing Eye of Argon. I was about to say Eye of Argonia, but that's incorrect. Uh, that's from Elder Scrolls. Yeah. A guy called Jim Tice, back in the 70s, uh, liked Robert E. Howard. And he decided to write some himself, and he shat out this horrible, horrible thing that's since been doing circles in, uh, well, literary shit, where there's party games, where you try to read this horrid mess. And you're supposed to read it as is, spelling errors and all, so before us we have this yellow thing in a PDF that's been shat out on uh, an old typewriter. And so the crocodile? Crocodile? See, already he's failing in a literary sense because he's repeating the same descriptive word. That's true. What, me? Well, the yeah. crocodile here says Chode. Is that him? Chode. No, it's not him. Uh, oh, okay. uh, there's a PDF on the internet. That might be it God. On, um, with a G-H-O-D. Or Gad. Gad. Right. I don't think that's him, though. I think that's just okay. extra. Uh, right. Yeah, the PDF. Link in description. What we're going to do is we're going to read a bit, each of us. And uh, normally the party game... Uh, you read until you're crippled by laughter. Myself being a sight reader, that might or might not happen, so that's no fun. So we're going to read about half a page each, and then we're going to quickly summarize what we what, what happened, just to make sure we understood this labyrinthian shit, and uh, see if there's any giggles to be found. Right? All right. Sure, All right. sure was not going to be uh, high barbarian antics instead. Uh, it's going to be wenches and shit. I think there are quite a few wenches in it. No, it's actually only one, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot his name was Greg now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to I'm gonna start out with the uh, with the first little uh, bit here. Godspeed. The Weather Beaten... Oh, sorry. The Eye of Argon by Jim Tice. Is that when you, already is that when you failed? failed? Yeah, Fuck me. Was... Okay. Ah. <laughs> Does that but, mean you lose points? Like, how do we no, do I, don't, I don't lose any points. He's lost 50 You've got to take off your underpants every time you... Every time? How no. many do I have? Like 50. Halloween, no. I should have... We're not playing Strip Eye of Argon, then? No. Okay, it was, I do okay. not want to ever think that is a thing. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Uh, Disappointing. <clears throat> the weather-beaten trail wound ahead into the dust-wracked climbs of the Bagran land, which dominates large portion of the Norogolian Empire. Age-worn hoofprints smothered by the sift sifting sands of time. Shown... Is that how you spell Shown? Shown. Sean, Sean. Sean yeah. Dolly against the dust-splattered crust of Earth. The tireless sun casts its parching rays of incandescence from overhead. <laughs> Halfway through its daily revolution, small it's rodents... It's like somebody <laughs> fucked a dictionary. Do you yeah. know what? He just I have to say that. This, this prose is so purple, it's the leader of the Byzantine Empire. I, I sort oh, of imagine him people, like, yeah. like Snoopy sitting there by a, uh, a, a, a this really shitty typewriter, but sitting on a massive thesaurus. <laughs> yeah, he he even made it the eye of half, Argon. <laughs> you haven't made it through half night. a tiny paragraph yet. Okay. Uh, small rodents scampered about occupying themselves in their daily accomplishment, uh, accomplishments of their dismal lives. Dust sprayed over... Three heaving mounts in blinding clouds while they bore the burdensome cargoes of their struggling overseers. Prepare to embrace your creators in the Stygian haunts of hell, barbarian gasped. Of, oh, sorry, gasped. Prepare to embrace your creators in the Stygian haunts of hell, barbarian gasped the first soldier. Only after you have kissed the fleeting steed of death, wretch, returned Grigner. <laughs> Fucking Grigna. Grigna. A sweeping blade of flashing steel riveted from the massive barbarian's hide, enameled shield, as his rippling right arm thrust forward, sending a steel shod blade into the hilt uh, to the hilt into the soldier's vital organs. The disemboweled mercenary crumpled from his saddle and sank to the clouded sward. Sprinkling the part. Wait, I have a question. What yes? Mm -hmm. So did he just to did Grigna here just sort of walk up and stab him and the guy was just like yeah by all means or... i think they're all riding horses <laughs> yeah so did he sort of wait did is grigner also on horse wait hold on three mount heaving blind clouds i don't think grigner is. we will work it out <laughs> as we go along they, they just or... horse up to him and then he stabs the yeah guy. exactly that's what i mean so he's gonna stab <laughs> upwards to someone on the horse so either grigner is like eight foot three or <laughs> what i like about that this... sword is massively large <laughs> I think you'll be seeing this quite a lot in this. Notice how the soldier goes from being a soldier to a mercenary. 
Oh yeah, so he did. This so has well, to... it's just a subset of soldier, you know. I suppose, but I mean, no, he needs to level up and get to soldier. I think he sat there with his thesaurus and then did that. So carry on. Right. The disemboweled mercenary crumpled from his saddle and sank to the clouded sward, sprinkling the parched earth with crimson droplets of escaping life fluid. Nice. Does anyone mm. else want to continue? Life fluid. I, I assume this I, is blood. I could continue if you'd like. Go on. <laughs> the enthused barbarian swiveled about. His shock of fiery red hair tossing robustly in the humid air currents as he faced the attack of the defeated soldier's fellow in arms. Hold on. Damn you, barbarian! Shrieked the soldier as he observed his comrade in death. Hey, wait, wait, wait. He's, he's a soldier again, no? Yeah, he's a soldier again. It's a different also, soldier. It's a different also, soldier. The also, wait, so there's two, wait, so there's two soldiers There are the multiple soldiers here. I wait. think I think also your brain is slapping past plaster onto this fucking crumbling yeah. ruin of literary work. Look at this shit. Did it say swiveled? Swivelled. <laughs> swivelled. <laughs> Fine. The, the, the enthused barbarian swivelled. Swivelled. There you go. He's using his carousel skill. Anyway, a gleaming <laughs> scimitar smote a heavy blow against the renegade spiked helmet, bringing a heavy cloud over the accordion's misting brain. Wait, wait. Shaking off the effects of the pounding blow to his head, Grigner brought down his scarlet streaked edge against the soldier's crudely forged hauberk. Wait, wait. Clanging Wait, wait. Is it so is this about his hair again? Because he's got fire. No, the, hair. St the Scarlet Street Edge. The Scarlet is implying blood. Yeah. It's wait. Bloody, so Grignish is a sword. massive ginger dude. He is no, a, no, no, no. Yes, the, he, the, the also, Scarlet yes. Street. The Scarlet Street Edge is his weapon in that case. He yeah, is, but he's also he's also so a he's red. Dude. Has he got like red panties on as well? I don't know. I think we'll get to that. Oh, okay. Clanging harmlessly to the left side of his opponent. A soldier's uh, stead, yep, stead, not steed, <laughs> stead. The soldier's stead whinnied as he directed the horse back from the driving blade of the barbarian. Grigner leashed his mount forward. See, he is riding something. Also, as oh, the yes, horse, he is. Yeah. also notice as the hoarsely piercing battle cry of his wilderness-bred ra uh, race resounded from his grinding lungs. Ah, uh, that sounds horrible. What, also, do, what do grinding lungs sound like? I don't. <gasps> Painful. <laughs> like to rat to bits of gravel. Also, a notice twirl. where he wrote horse. That was an I instead of the O originally. Mm. Yep. High horse. A, uh, a, yeah. twirling. Yeah. High horse yeah. a twirling blade bounced harm. He, he's, he's actually originally typed harm easily, but he has corrected it. A nice. twirling blade bounced harmlessly from the mighty thief's buckler as his rolling le right arm cleft upwards, sending a foot of blinding steel ripping through the uh, Sumerian's exposed gullet. A gasping gurgle from a soldier's writhing mouth as he tumbled to the golden sand at his feet and wormed agonizingly in his deathbed. It's no his, gold orc, his deathbed appears magically, yep. and yep. he's in it. Also, <laughs> uh, can you gurgle and gasp? Why not? Yeah, I guess it's like... <laughs> I suppose. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Grigner's emerald green orbs. He has two of them. <laughs> Let's not talk about his eyes, just the orbs he has. Wait, Glared wait, is, this, is this Grigner's boobs, or yep. is his eyes? Yep. It's his eyes. <laughs> There'll be no Glared. doubt when there's boobs. Glared oh, lustfully okay. at the wallowing soldier struggling before his chestnut swirled mount. His scowling voice reverberated over the dying form in a tone of mocking mirth. You city-bred dog should learn not to antagonize your better. Reining his weary mount ahead, Grigner resumed his journey to the, Nor to the Norogolian, really difficult name of an empire, the Norogolian city of Gorzam, hoping to discover wine, <laughs> women, and adventure to boil the wild blood coursing through his savage veins. Gorzam sounds like a cheese. So basically <laughs> what he's done is these soldiers have gone, you, we wish to be annoying. And he's like, I will prove how badass and non-Euclidean my sword is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have been killed by infeasible combat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's like three of these Mirko soldiers and they all got wrecked. Yeah, and notice how Grigner is iron-willed. He is, he is a man that does not give up easily. Bearing in mind, cannot tame uh, his wild bearing blood. Bearing in mind, his right arm rolls. It's on like a sort of like <laughs> ball Swivel. bearing. You think? It's called... <laughs> like this spins. Grignar has seventy-eight points of articulation in his right arm. Wait, hold on. Feels more upsetting. Did he actually? You've got for an entire people? page here. Yep. You've got like a good two hundred odd words, and we've managed to accomplish three stabs. <laughs> yep. The did best he, part did he is... kill all three? Yes, they're all dead. Yeah, uh, apparently. He's leaving the last one to die. Uh, yeah, he, he gas gurgled. Unfortunately, uh, Halloween, you need to talk about the trek to Gorzam. No, yeah. which is oh, now, sweet. by the way, which is now, by the way, Gorzam. 
Oh, it's Gulzon. <laughs> oh, he has changed oh, his yeah. mind. It was, oh, yeah, another, now... it was another guy doing the signs as they got closer to the city, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he's like, Gulzon. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, well, I've done it now. <laughs> uh. you know how... All right. The trek to Gorzon was forced upon Grignir when the soldiers of Orin... Oh, cry out loud. Who the... so, Who's Sir, Orin? And why... Sirin? What? Sirin? That's a C. It, you sure it's not O? No. It's either I'm a not. very worn O or a C. I think that's I think that's O. Orin sounds cool. Okay, I mean, Orin. Crin, no. Crin sounds like Let's just Crin sounds like something you get as a rash. Yes. All right. Anyway, let's go with Orin, shall we? Sure. For now, right. so it changes. Yeah, yeah. Soldiers of Orin were leashed. Leashed? Yes. They, they weren't unleashed on him. No, they were leashed, they were leashed upon, upon him. him by a faithless concubine he had wooed. His scandalous activities throughout the Samarian city had unleashed throngs of havoc and uproar among its refined pe- patricians, leading them to tack a heavy reward over his... It's supposed to be in his head, isn't it? Not hoed. Yeah, it's his, his head. head, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> he had barely managed to escape through the back entrance of the inn that he'd been guzzling it. So wait, wait, wait. We, we in there now? I guess no, so. He's talking about the past and the place he previously was in? That's what I was wondering, right. yeah. So, okay, so... We're, we're now reminiscing about this inn he was in on his way to Gorzamzon. Yeah? Yes. Okay, okay. So, so he's fleeing because he's... He's still fleeing because he, he caused the ruckus. Yeah, he, he fucked some lady and then had to... Leg it. To fight someone. Yeah, I guess. All right. Okay. Uh, as a squad of sol- soldiered... That's a D. Soldiered. Yes, that's a soldiered. <laughs> squad okay, of admi- soldiered. Admittedly, in all fairness, that is next to S on a keyboard. But, uh, but the word next to them really is an odd word. <laughs> the squad of soldiered tounced upon him. I guess yep. pounced, maybe. Now, this is this is this is like pouncing plus. When you tounce someone, you're in serious. Hold no, on, serious no, job. no, two, two, two seconds. Tounced. Is this a real I'm word? I'm looking. I'm looking. The act of providing a hand job. No. <laughs> That's what I looked at. The act, of <laughs> the act of providing a hand job while also double fisting their asshole, braiding their pubic hairs, and cupping each testicle. I don't think Urban Dictionary is to be trusted with this one. <laughs> I don't think it is. I prefer my definition a lot <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe a bit more PG. Let's, 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 yeah, let's not. Let's not. Well, <laughs> that got our <laughs> way quickly. Right, anyway, so he got tounced, unfortunate for him. Mm. After spilling a spout of blood from the leader of the mercenaries as he dismembered one of the officers' officers' arms... Well, let me get this straight. He's cut off the officers' arms and then the leader just spouts blood. <laughs> yes, yeah, it seems that way. Well, I assume the officer and the leader is the same one again. He's once again been deep no, in the no, thesaurus. And no, it's just one working. of the officers are. No, yeah, one of the officers is different from the leader. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That could be, that could be referenced as the, 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 the leader, leader of being the officer. an officer. Yeah, I guess. Maybe. He retreated for his mind. mount to make his way towards Gorzon, rumoured to contain hordes of plunder and many young wenches hmm, for any man who has a backbone to wrest them away. Okay. I'm getting the idea Grigner is not a very nice chap. I think he's a bit of a prick. Yeah, he seems like a bit of a prick. On accordion. I mean, oh, look, Grigner's not capitalised here, so I guess Grigner's no longer important enough. Arriving after dust in Gorzom, Grigner descended down a dismal alley, reining his horse before a beaten tavern. The red-headed giant strode into the dimly lit hostri- hostelry, reeking of foul odours and cheap wine. What's that Wait, does, he, does he reek of it, or does there reek of it? I don't know. I think, I think he reeks of it, I think. Well, he's already drunk before he arrived. Well done, Grigner. <laughs> <laughs> the air was heavy with choking fumes spewing from smouldering torches, one word, encased within Thedon's earthen-packed walls. So the, the, the torches are inside the walls here. Yeah, they're smouldering torches too. This is Bethesda that made this tavern. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, everybody in there right now is <laughs> suffocating the floor. on like smoke fumes. Going... <laughs> uh, hello, hello, I'm Vincent Valtieri. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> anyway, um... Tables were clustered with groups of drunken thieves and and cutthroats, tossing dice, or making love to willing prostitutes. Hang on. The way they've they've worded that is that it's actually just um, occupied by drunken thieves, cutthroats, and just Possibly dice. dice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the dice occupying tables. They are. They're just there. It's one of those uh, experimental playrooms where the dice are massive and furniture it's like <laughs> no, this big got, fuzzy dice these barbarians like... sitting around on them <laughs> well they've got the, like arms and legs the, the, table, the, the addition of the word all before the mention of the dice would have really helped there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i like you can sort of see where he's corrected it sometimes sometimes you see that uh what's it a stamp outy liquid what's it called white yeah. something 
Tip X. Uh, tip X. Yeah, and he's he's sometimes he's he's uh, removed some uh, some words from uh, so, uh, let some letters from a word, and then he hasn't corrected it. He just sent it in. Went fuck it. This is good enough. Uh, uh, Atlas. Check again. Or yeah, go, go, go its own. All right. Eyeing a slender female crouched alone at a nearby bench, Grignir advanced, wishing wishing to wholesomely occupy his time. Nice. Yep. The flickering torches cast weird shafts of luminescence dancing over the half-naked harlot of his choice. Her stringy orchard twines of hair swaying gracefully over the lithe, opaque nose as she raised a halved, drained mug to her pale red lips. Opaque. Hal opaque. 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 opaque, not able to be seen through, not transparent. I suppose that. <laughs> I mean, I'd be a little I'm bit very worried glad that if it's not translucent. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm exactly. happy about Can that. Can you imagine? You look in the corner, a skeleton with a pair of tits going, nah. <laughs> like, <"Ugh." laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> Come along, oh, Greg. No. Have a oh, squeeze. No, I'm going to be talking to Greg now <laughs> soon, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh... I've got the boniest ass in the West. <laughs> I heard how you cleft three people in two with <laughs> weird, weird non-Euclidean swords. <laughs> you tell Uncle weird, Skeletor. Nah. Okay, I I'll continue here then. Here we go. go. Yeah. Glancing upward, the alluring complexion. What noted the stalwart? Ju what? Yes, the complex. Just a complexion <laughs> that's just there. <laughs> so like, you seem to be very skin-colored. Mm. Yeah, yeah, the alluring complexion noted the stalwart giant. Okay, so I think what he's trying to say here is that she's so greasy. And shiny <laughs> that he's reflected in her skin. <laughs> he, he's, he's like eyes are desperate. Saying, oh, I look wonderful. <laughs> yes, or, or maybe, or maybe her her eyes are not the window to the soul, but the mirror to the soul, and he can see his soul reflected back. And it's mostly killing barbarians <laughs> and mercenary soldiers that he's encountered. And, and hair. Like, lots, lots of all hair. Over, all over yeah. said he can just see himself in it. He's like, mm. <laughs> and yeah. no, wait, we're about we're about to. Oh, some ovals soon, though. Uh, alluring oh. complexion noted the stalwart giant as he rapidly approached. Let's imagine he him flew, doing, <laughs> running doing... across the bar, <laughs> like shuffles over. They're doing that. Uh, what's it called? There's, it's actually Olympic sport where you walk really quickly. Power walking. Yeah, power walking. <laughs> <Just quick. laughs> a, a, gl a faint glimmer sparked from the pair of deep blue ovals of the amorous females as she motioned towards Grigna, enticing him to join her. Everyone in this world is carrying like a pair of orbs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's say everyone's got like anime eyes. <laughs> Hello! Yeah. Uh, the barbarian seated himself upon a stool at the wench's side, exposing his body. <laughs> save he sits, for a sits down, like flaps up his like willy drive. He's like, Hello. Yeah. No, 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 no. He, oh, no save for his loin cloth. Sorry, my mistake. At, at some point he had a shield. That's gone now. We'll never hear about that again. <laughs> now there was mentioned a thief's buckler early in the chapter. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's just a bit though. I think he's he, currently he, wearing it as a hat. I think he's, no, referred, he to as a, he's referred to as a thief because Conan famously was a, a rogue, no, no, I think. He's wearing it as a hat. You know how the bucklers, they have the, oh, like, yeah, no. um, oh, yeah. they have a little... Uh, oh, so he's like Kung Lao. Uh, exposing his body, save for a loincloth, brandishing a long steel broadsword. The, lo the loincloth is brandishing a sword. <laughs> yes, <laughs> loincloth very is fine. armed and dangerous. <laughs> he's just stuck it in the front of his trousers and is pretending it's a willy. Uh, an iron spiraled battle helmet. Oh, he's, he has a hat. A thick. Yes, right. it, was, it was mentioned. It did deflect a blow. Oh yes, and a thick leather, a thick leather sandals to yes, her unobstructed view. Sand. What? A single plural sandal. Have you not heard of them? They're all <laughs> no. over Conan. Okay, so thou hast need to occupy your time, barbarian. Questioned the female. Question mark after question the female. <laughs> is it a question? He's not sure. Well, no that's, one... because, that's because the question mark is meant to be at the end of her sentence, but isn't there, so it's just been put in later. <laughs> or, alternatively, the writer is like, I'm not sure if she asked this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what am I writing? <laughs> I should stop. Only if something worth offering is within my reach, stated Grigner as his hand crept to embrace the tempting female who welcomed them with oven... oven oh, How Owen, old was this guy when he Owen, wrote this? Well, 17. I'd like to note that we're on, like, page two of this, <laughs> and it's already page 28, according to the bottom. Yeah, didn't uh, it come I, in, like, a um, magazine or something, though? I think this is a uh, this is the uh, copy that the people laughing Fair at enough. it uh, distributed between themselves. So this is, yeah, oh, sorry. Uh, from where did you come, barbarian? And boy, what are you called? Gasped the other. From where did you come, barbarian? But what are you called? This, this... Gasped I the think, complying I think the wench. Gasp there might be, um, yeah, because of that. Oh, gasped the complying wench as Grigna smothered her lips. 
with the blazing touch of his flaming mouth. Okay, so his mouth's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? <laughs> the he's just like, he's just like one of those lamp like, lamp get the lamp <laughs> oil and just go, ah, just set it on fire with a yeah. torch. <laughs> the the, the mean, engrossed titan. What? He hasn't even paid yet. No. The engrossed titan ignored the queries of the inquisitive female, pulling her towards her. Uh, pull, pull, uh, pulling her towards him and crushing her sagging nipples to his yearning chest. That must hurt. I don't know. I mean, that's really weird having the word sagging there nipples. Is crushing. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just like. I was. Like, I was taken aback by the sagging nipples. No, no. I noticed the word crushing there. And his chest is yearning. I suppose that's somewhat possible. Uh, without struggle, she gave in. That's what without struggle means. Winding her soft arms around a harshly bronzed hide, one worked of Grigna's corded shoulder blades as his cow. There is no hands... S at the end of Grigna. Oh, uh, oh, sorry, of Grigna corded shoulder blades. So that blades. is now his name. <laughs> Grigna corded shoulder blades. Yeah. Uh, as his calloused hand caressed her firm, protruding busts. Protruding busts. So Truden. these, like, small, like, statue things that she has. So she has orbs and statues. <laughs> yeah. He's removed the G at the end of protruding. He has. <laughs> protruding. Uh, okay. Oh god. You take the next line, Damien. No, <clears throat> Kiko. <clears throat> you make love well, wench, admitted Grigner as he reached for the vessel of per potent wine his charge had been quaffing. So have they Flying... just fucked? N no. He's just, like, crushed part <laughs> of her body. But he's he's writing a, a Yelp review without even having been there, I guess. <laughs> he, just, he just gets it like a, like a, like a, one of those uh, magic markers right on her back. <laughs> yeah. Makes love well. A flying foot caught the mug Grigna had taken hold of. <laughs> just, like, just, just like, like a foot comes through. <laughs> Sen Whose sending, foot is this? Send, sending its blood red content sloshing over a flickering Cree scent. Lashing yes. tongues of right orange flame to the foot trodden floor. Wait. Wait, wait there's too many foots here. I'm getting confused. Yep, uh. I know. I There'll think be he might have been many... out of ink. So... No, no, that doesn't make no sense. There's Ur... just a lot of... Uh, sorry. Remove Wait. yourself, sirrah. The wench belongs to me, blabbered a drunken soldier. Wait, too this far. soldier was so pissed that he threw somebody's foot at him. <laughs> yes, yep. I guess. Or his own but foot. Too, too far <laughs> consumed by the influences of his virile brew to take notice of the superior size of his adversary. I, Rig... I don't buy that for a minute. This guy got Rigner, described as... This Let's massive... quote. He got described, hold on a sec, he got described as a titan. Yep. How do you Grig not notice this? Ah, but wait, this titan, Grigna, lethally bounded from a startled female as a titan. <laughs> Is he His face her? lit up to an ashen <laughs> red ferocity and eyes locked in a searing feral blaze towards the swaying soldier. <laughs> to hell with you, braggart! bellowed the angered accordion <laughs> as he hefted his finely honed broadsword. Wait, the hold on a minute. It's, is Grigna like, it's like, first of all, you get like... You get like a popping noise, and he comes out and goes like waving Willie around at the same time. Well, no, and nothing's like, actually happened. All no, no, that he happens... says he, you make love well. They, they're in the yeah, middle of doing I it. I don't think Grigno knows what love is. No, tell I me what love is. Very all, weird. All Grigno has done is crushed her nipples. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I suppose that is apparently an accordion. How they make love? I guess fucking accordions. It's not spelled accordion <laughs> like the instrument, by the way, but. The, the way it's written is pronounced exactly like that. So yep. Grigna's not actually in the... Well, he is, but... The, stag not the, the staggering soldier clumsily reached towards the pommel of his dangling sword. But before his hands ever touched the oaken hilt, a silvered flash was slicing the heavy air. The thews of the savage's lashing right arm, once again lashing and on a little swivel thing, bulged from the glistening bronzed hide as his bade, because the L isn't legible there, bit deeply into the soldier's neck. Lopping off, or loping rather, <laughs> yep, loping off the confused head of his senseless tormentor. With a nauseating thud, the severed oval, again with the ovals, <laughs> toppled to the floor as the uh, segregated torso of Grigna's bovine antagonist <laughs> Wait, swayed. Wait, bovine? <laughs> Yes. As in, moon? turns out he was a cow all along. <laughs> it's just like from the Emperor's New Groove, this guy is a cow in armor. Uh, I've yeah. been to a new cow, can I go home? Yes, you can go. <sighs> Anyone else? Oh, we're good. Yep. With a no uh, there we go. I did that was I? Then collapsed in a pool of swirled crimson. In the confusion, the soldiers' fellows confronted Grigna with unsheathed cutlasses, because now they're pirates, directed <laughs> towards the latter's scowling makeup. But now he's wearing makeup. What the hell? 
It's it's got a dash. Oh god, he's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So Grignus was like, hold on, say he's got his little mirror out. <laughs> hold on, let me I... scowl my makeup on here. What the hell? I suppose he's got war paint or something. It's Mel Gibson. I... The slut should have picked his quarry more carefully, roared the victor in a mocking baritone <laughs> growl as he wiped his driping blade on the prostate <laughs> form and returned to it its scabbard. Have Why? your scabbard back, Why blade! Why is he slut shaming a dead dude? <laughs> well, but worse yet, worse yet, he returns the, the the he returns to the sword its scabbard. He's just like, here, have it back. Oh, thank you. But I'll the, do uh... one. I'll, I'll do one more line, and then it's uh someone else. Then it's um weenie Halloween's term. The fool should have shown more prudence. However, you shall rule you, rue your actions while rotting in the pits, stated one of the sprawled soldier's comrades. Bearing in mind, there is no end of uh, conversation thing there because it's too heavily faded. But it's okay. Halloween now gets to take on the amazing combat that probably doesn't look like it's going to happen. Wonderful. Grigno's hand began to remove his blade from its leather housing, but but retarded the motion in face of the blades waving before his face. Why did oh, he sheath it again? I would like to know, sheathed the sword, went then combat took it back out again. To happen. This guy is either like a jiu-jitsu master, which is unlikely, or he's just dumb. <laughs> I think, <laughs> yes. But more importantly, in face of face, before his face face, that's just too many faces well, in one too sentence. Many that's a lot feet, of face. Too many faces and like, like, Wiping, driping blades on prostate forms. I mean, this is only page, like, three. Yeah, Dismiss could've... your hand from the hilt, barbarian, or you shall find a foot... Oh, not bloody feet again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> foot of steel sheathed in your gizzard. Sheathed? Yes. Yeah. He's, 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 he's a Grigner there. He's, 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 he's in a wet Grigner. He's looking at his horse like, come on. Draw <laughs> <laughs> <Pour> your sword. <laughs> Grigner weighed his position, observing his plight. Whereupon he took the soldier's advice as the only logical choice to attempt to hack his way from the precent. What? Present. present. From his. Is this supposed to be present? It's... Yes, it's just split over two lines. Oh, is that, is that he's done line break? I'll yeah. let him off that one. From his present. I mean, surely you can just line break that and just done present predicament. That's how you do no. it, though. <laughs> present predicament, because it only warrants certain death. He was of no mind to bring upon his What's own he demise. What's doing up there? <laughs> he just left. He doesn't want to try, He's trying to leave. It's just like, no! <laughs> no! I don't want to be part of this story. I'm a sensible H. Uh, he has no mind to bring upon his own demise if an alternate path presented itself. The will to ne necessitate his life forced him to yield to the superior force in hopes of a moment of carelessness later upon the part of his captures, in which he could effect a more plausible means of escape. Suddenly, Grigner has become like master tactician, a.k.a. he's gone... Okay, now I'm really outnumbered. Wait, I thought this was just a piss dude getting upset. I'm <laughs> throwing this, this, is, this is an undisclosed number of pirates with cutters. <laughs> so just, like, that he's very just angry that and... their cow warrior was killed. Yeah, in a tavern <laughs> yeah, where they can only come at him a few at the time anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but like, the, he slayed the bull pirate and now they're upset. It's it's okay, they spent the page and a half. It's okay, Grigner, your codpiece has a sword. You have two swords! <laughs> it's right. like they they spent a like... fucking page and a half establishing Grigner as this badass who never gets in and is wild and untamed, and now he's just like, fuck it, too many cutlasses. <laughs> I will never surrender. There is more of us than is stated in the writing. There could be hundreds of you. I give up. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> I mean, also, he was in the corner of, a, like, of the bar here. I mean, like... Don't forget, his lips are on fire as well. It's true. Yeah, and I, and I still think he's probably full master. <laughs> Raging around. herpes face. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, you may have I done this bit? You may steady your arms. I will go without a struggle. I assume that was Grigner saying that. Yes. Your decision is a wise one, yet perhaps you would have been better off had you forced death. Forced? Yes. Like he, he, death, he, like, he like grabs what? his mate Death from the corner. Yo, Death! What's that, <laughs> like, what's that comma do doing there, though? Look, I'm just here for a drink. Go away. <laughs> what, what's that comma doing there? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's out as well? That comma would be there if he was originally intending Grigner to say more, but Grigner does not say more here. <laughs> yeah, because the soldier's mouth's too busy wrinkling to a sadistic grin of knowing mirth as he prodded his prisoner on with his sword point. <laughs> it's poking him. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. <laughs> Oh god, there's a picture a on the next hide. It's not gonna harm Grigner with that. I think the the bronze hide, in first time it was mentioned, was his sh uh, his shield. Now it's not. Now it's just his skin. Do not worry. <laughs> there will be a very. There will not. There will be a very um, vague period of time coming up. Oh god. 
Kai. And a picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great picture. It's like it's like a really young Ming the Merciless. Without eyes. Without eyes, obviously. You don't need eyes. After an indiscriminate period of marching through the slinking alleyways and dim moonlighted moonlighted? Yep. Rather moonlit. <laughs> streets yep, the streets the are procession moonlight. confronted a massive Seraglio? Sereg- Seraglio, I think Sereg- would be the word. A- anybody? Seraglio? I think it's Seraglio. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to look up Urban Seraglio. I- I'm, uh, I'm checking something up. Indiscriminate. No, no. There's, there's no, I mean, uh, I've Seraglio think... is uh, either uh, uh, the woman's apartment, harem, in, the, in an Ottoman palace, or a Turkish or Ottoman palace, especially the Sultan's court and government offices at Constantinople. See? My Byzantine reference yeah. seems to have come full circle. <laughs> nice. I got for that. Also, I'd like I to know. point out indiscriminate does not mean there's any time. It means... Done at random or without careful judgment. So they yeah, just it's fucking, just like, it's like a taxi driver just marching around for uh, gonna uh, go in a fucking straight line to the prison. Fuck that. <laughs> just gonna <laughs> ride around. I need to go get some bakery goods and, and he needs to go look at some beads and that <laughs> owl's nice. We'll just walk around in circles for five minutes. Prod, prod. <laughs> <It's getting numb. laughs> Sorry. The palace area was surrounded by an iron grating with a lush garden upon all sides. That is a lot of iron grating. That's a lot of gardens. The group was admitted through the gilded gateway and Grignir was led along. <laughs> led along? That is uh, meant to be led and along, but... Yeah, uh, I like led along. It sounds led along. It sounds like a led, nice Led man. along a stone pathway bordered by plush vegetation. Ah, uh, excellent. Wait, like, rather... Surely lush vegetation? No, 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 no. It is cuddly vegetation. <laughs> it's like fluffy toys. It's, it's, a, it's a very, very active cotton Do plant. not worry. This is not just <laughs> plush vegetation. It's lustfully... It's lustful, lustful vegetation. You can do more passive carrot. It's like it's been hard just lustfully. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> carrots winking at you. It's the fucking moon making it lustful. It's like, <laughs> it's like any any moonlight, I, I do anything in the moonlight. I fuck it. it doesn't matter like, what like it is. Like Gr- Gr- Grignir, like points his big old willy at these plants. It's all right. Stop that, Grignir. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. Need to say that sentence now. What yeah. sentence? Oh, sorry, uh, sorry. <laughs> plus vegetation. And we'll go back to plush vegetation, lustfully enhanced by the moon's shimmering rays. Mm. Upon reaching the palace, the group was granted entrance, and after several minutes of explanation, led through several winding corridors to a richly draped chamber. Wait, how many feet were flying around there? That's <laughs> five, sir. And why did you throw the... a foot at him? And then What's they wrong with my, my cow friend. We <laughs> had a <laughs> cow in the guard. <laughs> Uh, Confront. Uh, uh, do you want to? Should I carry on? Yeah, else now. All right, go on. I'm sorry to say. Confronting the group was a short, stocky man seated upon a golden throne. <laughs> Tapestries of richly draped regal blue silk covered all the walls <laughs> of the chamber. That's clearly not oh, that's silver. <laughs> Is it silk? Silver. Silk. Uh, the steps leading to the throne were plated with sparkling white ivory. The man upon the throne had a naked wench seated at each There's of his a lot arms. Of wenches right here. And a trusted advisor seated in back of him. <laughs> what? Like, <laughs> like you're giving him a piggyback. Help me! I am part of the ruler! Help me. <laughs> it's, it's that. Is it, is it like that guy from Total Recall? No, no, wait. Oh, God. Quaid. <laughs> Uh, what the Great hell? Near, at, start the reactor. At each corner of the chamber, a guard stood at attention. Uh, with uh, upraised pikes supported in their hands, golden chainmail adorning their torsos. Tors- oh no, torsos, we're gold hawking again. And oh god. Barred, barred helmets emitting scarlet plumes and enshmo- enshro- enshrouding oh, yeah. their heads. A man this, rose, golden army is so he- this golden armor is so heavy and all the, the smoke coming out of the helmet. Well, he's, he's a palace guard. He's supposed to look bling bling rather than. Yes, be but there is awesome. literally like smoking, like red plumes of smoke coming out of that helmet. That's normal. No, it's not. They have to replace the the liquid in there every every two, five minutes to keep emitting the smoke. Anyway, uh, the man rose from his throne to the dais, dais surrounding it. His mm. plush turquoise robe dangled loosely <laughs> from his chunky frame. Right. So they're making like plush robes now. Grigner. At least it's not lustful. Grigner decapitated or cut the oval of a man who threw his foot at him, and he's being brought before <laughs> royalty. This is obviously so that he can cut more. Like, already in this picture, he's removed the ovals from this man's eyes. Like, <laughs> he's, he's got to, quick, hide my ovals. He won't and get me now. And why would royalty care that one, some cow man threw a foot at a dude because he, like, was I squeezing know. a prostitute? Why would he give a shit? <laughs> Look, no, but sire, this is an accordion. You've always wanted an accordion to play at your um, anniversary <laughs> ceremony. My lord, he was crushing her nipples. 
Uh, a terrible crime. So, uh, kind of history-wise, what is a throne? Is a throne reserved for royalty, or can anyone have a throne? Uh, thrones Normally aren't necessarily... For yeah, Normally but generally, a ruling, a ruling person can also have a throne, like a knight could have a throne. Okay, so, so it doesn't matter that he used that word. No. God damn it. So, uh, so look, <clears throat> thrones are just like somewhere a person of uh, particular status is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or a uh, sovereign the, the bishop soul... or similar figure. The yeah, a throne is the seat of a state. Fuck! Of... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Maybe he's a ruler. Well, he's going to be a lot of things, I think. It's the soldiers nice. surrounding Grigner fell to their knees with heads bowed to the stone masonry of floor and fearful, fearful dignity to their sovereign liege. Ow! The stone floor! Ow. As they just, like, hit their heads. <laughs> Bonk! <laughs> Explain the purpose of this intrusion upon my chateau, which was well, previously a palace. A palace? Well, well, sir, we let him house. in. You, you let us let him in. <laughs> your serenity? Sirenity? Yes, he, he said your serenity. <laughs> your serenity. That was good splendent fun. and noble grandeur. We have brought this yokel before you. Why, though? <laughs> Why? The soldier gestured towards Grigner in brackets for some fucking reason. Not, not ending the uh, dialogue at all, yeah. no. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I well, like the... the idea that they're just going, we have brought this yokel to you. The soldier gestured towards Grigner. <laughs> yeah, just because, saying it. Because he's probably nearsighted. He has a, the, the advisor sat in back of him has proper vision. I'm and he's the sort one of... with the eyes. He's I like, got the he's, eyes. He's, he's gesturing towards Grigner. I know his name. I am. I have the eyes. For the for the redress and the all-knowing wisdom and judgment regarding his fate. Down on your knees, loud and pray proper homage to your sovereign, commanded the pudgy noble of Grigner. He's a noble now. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> By the surly beard of Mif, Grigner, Gr 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 Grigner kneels to no man, <laughs> scowled the massive barbarian. You I want to, to know of this god. <laughs> what, Marifk. Marifk. <laughs> yes. Wait, Marif Marifik? Marifik? Marifik. 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 Why Marifik. is everything so complicated to say? <laughs> I don't know. This, is, this is Conan, or not Conan. It's Conan. Okay. You dare deal this blasphemous act to me? You are indeed brave, stranger. Yet your valor smacks of foolishness. I find you to be the only fool sitting upon your pompous throne, enhancing the rolling flabs of your belly in the midst of your elevated luxuriad. <laughs> Very <laughs> ellipses well, for some fucking no, that's, reason. That's luxuriant. Luxuriant. No sorry, there. it is a luxuriant. It's a well-known palace design. In the no, it wasn't. What does that ellipses mean? Uh, uh, those are some serious dots of action. Yeah. <laughs> what? Grigner trails off. <laughs> I guess so. He just no, got bored with sentence. <laughs> yeah, he's just like yeah. Uh, the soldier standing oh, that... at Grigner's side smote him a heavy blow in the face with the flat of his sword. That's probably why he, he, he trailed off. Oh, I see. I'm an idiot. Cutting short the harsh words and knocking his battered helmet to the masonry with an echoing clang. Clang. The clang. porchy noble's sagging round face flushed suddenly pale, then pastily lit up to a lustrous cherry red radiance. For fuck's sake. His How lips dare you hit my... <laughs> How dare you hit Grigner? That was my job! Yes. Oh, I'm angry! His, like, no, he's, he's doing one of those anime things where they wait with the reaction until a person that's insulting him has finished the entire sentence. Uh, his lips trembled with malicious rage while emitting a muffled sibilant gibberish. <laughs> his sagging flaps <laughs> rolled like a tub of upset jelly, then, incompre then compressed as he sucked his gut in in an attempt to conceal his softness. I passed the torch on to Kiko, who was getting a mercifully... Oh. Okay, the, the the pages in this has got more and more you, yellow you must, as we've gotten down. By the way, he has gone from being a noble to a prince now. Oh, yes, there he has. The Isn't prince that... regained his stature, <laughs> then spoke to the soldiers surrounding Grigna, his face conforming to an ugly expression of sadistic humor. Take this uncouth heathen to the vault of misery, and be sure that his agonies are long and drawn out before death can release him. I like that as... he has a vault of misery. Yeah. Well, you know, you have a vault of misery, a vault I call that of my, wild uh, agitation, and also a vault of cheese. Yes, <laughs> good good vault. Need a maze before it, though. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a maze that house this cheese. <laughs> no, no mazes. <laughs> as you wish, sire. Your command shall be heeded immediately, answered the soldier to the right of Grigner as he stared to the barbarian's seemingly unaffected face. 
un- well, of course, would be unaffected by words. You haven't hit him with the flat of your sword, which, by the way, isn't the best way to hit someone. Hit them with the pommel of your sword, not <laughs> yeah, the, the flat. flat. Accidentally cut him open. Whoops. The, ad- <laughs> the advisor seated in the back of the noble, still seated in the back, <laughs> no, he's, he's, slowly he's, rose he's... and advanced to the side of his master, <laughs> motioning the wench to seated at his side to remove themselves. I just he imagined the noble head. like that cat bus from Totoro. He just oh, sat yeah. in the back. He lowered his head and whispered to the noble, Eminence, the punishment you have decreed punishment? will cause much misery to this scum. <laughs> yet it will only last a short time, then release him to a land beyond the sufferings of the human body. Why not mellow him in one of the subterranean vaults for a few days, then send him to life harp labor in one of your buried mines? To one such as he, a life spent in the confinement of the Stygian pits will be infinitely more appropriate and lasting torture. Just the to no- clarify, basically, yes. his crime was... What? Killing Crushing guy. a woman's nipples and then killing a cowman. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the cowman started by throwing a foot at him. <laughs> he, he sort of did, yeah. And what the fuck is a buried mine? Well, it's, <laughs> it's like a regular mine, but under- <laughs> it's like covered up. Well, it's they're it's covered like, it up, yeah. It's some of that idiot work you sometimes get in the military. Dig a hole and fill it again. It's like... The noble, yeah. <laughs> the noble cupped his drooping double chin in the folds of his brimming... Or briming, sorry, briming palm, meditating for a moment upon the rationality of the counselor's words, then raised his shaggy brown eyebrows and turned towards the advisor, <clears throat> eyes aglow. As always, Afghan. Uh, <laughs> Look at that name! <laughs> as always, it's like a fucking and sneeze and hit the keyboard. As, as always, Agafund, you speak with <laughs> great <laughs> wisdom. Shit. Your words ring of great knowledge concerning the nature of one such as he, saith the king. Also, notice here. Agafund has gotten a name. This means <laughs> yes. he is important. Yep. Grigna is the nope. only one that's been named. Not even the wench, not even the king. But Ag- Agafund has been Ag- named. Ag- Ag- Agafund has been basically named. He looks like he got with Aga and then just accidentally leaned on it on the <laughs> yeah. keyboard. Like, he, I, he, yeah. he just sneezed and hit his head on it. I <laughs> have a sneaking suspicion that Agafund is going to be the real villain here. Not the prince, not the guards. Agafund oh. is going to be the Jafar of the story. Wait, no. Wait, you, mean the prin- you mean the prince, Noble? Yes. Not the, not the power in wait, the Wait, wait, the king. He's now king. Oh, yep. fuck me. No, 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 wait, you mean to tell me that the power in the throne is going to be the evil villain? Yes, but not uh. not, not the actual king prince. Don't you mean the power literally no, wait, in the wait. spine of the king? He's now a noble. The noble turned towards the prisoner with a noticeable shimmer reflecting in his frog-like eyes. Notice that he was lip- a king three words <laughs> not, before not he was a noble. Ago. Three words before he was a noble. <laughs> and his lips contorting to a greasy grin. I have decided to void my previous decree. The prisoner shall be removed to one of the palace's underground vaults. There he shall stay until I have decided that he has sufficiently simmered. Because, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because apparently he is a boiling pot. <laughs> and when Grigner is simmered well, turn him over. Simmer yeah. on the side. Yeah. Indeed. Fuck Indeed. Him. It's like... Uh, Whereupon he is to be allowed to spend the remainder of his days at labor in one of my mines. I will do one little uh, segment of this more, and then it will be uh, passing over. Upon hearing this, Grigner realized that his fate would be far less merciful than death to one such as he, who is used to roaming the countryside at will. A life of confinement would be more than his body and mind could stand up to. Wait, so killing people is oh, fine. But no, four walls and a roof. I was no! going to say, like, Grignard was perfectly content with getting snuffed out here, but he's just like, fucking prison, give, not on my life. Give, give me death. Don't give me <laughs> any form of comfort. I did not see this coming at all when they captured like... me in the tavern <laughs> when I decided to surrender. By the way, let us state, let us restate what we just said at the beginning of this tiny segment by saying this type of life would be immeasurably worse than death. And yes. now, Halloween, it is all to you. Excellent. I shall never understand the ways if your twisted civilization. <laughs> I simply defend my honor and am condemned to life confinement by a pig who sits on his royal ass wooing whores and knows nothing of the affairs of the land he imagines to rule, lectures Grignir, question mark. <laughs> so isn't that exactly what Grignir went to a tavern to go and do? Hold on. So <laughs> yeah, what, I guess so, yes. What does a random barbarian of Grignir that he happens to just stroll into the city after running away from another city know about the, like... Well, this is a skycrafter. He is trying his best to be not Conan, and not Conan was educated. Yeah, you but... Know, this unfortunately is... This unfortunately is um, not Conan, who instead of actually, you know, learning properly about the land, got the, uh, like, the everyone's guides, like, the dumb guides, um, like... 
what are they called? You mean the Those Dummy's the... Guide to Politics? Yeah, a Dummy's Guide to, like, um, not Conan land. <laughs> and he just, like, read that, and it's like, ah, ah, purpose. Killing bovine people. Right, got well, it. I mean, don't worry about too much. I mean, Grigner is question marked here, so he's not too sure about his little statement. <laughs> yeah, but... he isn't. They're not I sure mean, if there he's, are, there are he's there aren't any fleet, fly, uh, fleet flying around to, like, start combat. So basically, every single combat is going to be, a foot flies somewhere. Yeah. Oh, God, the next sentence. <laughs> Enough of this. Away with the slut before I lose my control. It's loose my oh, control. Oh, sorry, you're right. I lose my control. And also, Grigno is now the slut. <laughs> yeah. Be before he was the guard, there was the slut. Wait, the guy from Oglaf? Uh, no, not, not, uh, not uh, Ivan. He was a good man. I don't know why he slut shapes people. I don't think Jim Tyson knows what a slut is. I don't think he does. Also, uh, things are about to get foot combaty. <laughs> the best thing is that Grigner still didn't think he was in trouble until someone's like, I'm fine. Foot. I'm fine. Wait. <laughs> Wait a the... minute. They're I'm actually not... going to do it. Those madmen. I was mad justified in my, in my, oh God, the next page has the noble smoking a blunt. <laughs> oh, does he? Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> So let me get this straight. Was right. the guy above actually the picture of uh, of uh, our, our good old noble Agafund? I think that's no, Agafund, no. yeah. Are you, sure? Agafund. Are you sure that's not uh, by the beard of Mifrik? I mean, that's got, got a beard. Is that the surly beard of Mifrik? I think that's, anyway, a, I think anyway, that's the beard of Mifrik. Yeah, it's peril that he can now finally see because he's not blind anymore. Oh, oh God. Myself. Where are we, where are we build a slut? Okay. Seeing the peril of his position, Grignir searched for an opening. Crushing prudence to the swad, he ploughed into the soldier his left arm. <laughs> like, eh, Widen the back <laughs> the up fuck? again. This is the second Taking... time he's written swords like that. How is he like doing that? this from a kneeling position? You know, because no one bothered to stop no, no, the crazy I, I titan. Grig I thought Grigner didn't kneel. That Wait, was let me... He got pissed. He no, got no, he pissed. kneeled, then he got smacked in the face, presumably making him kneel, I guess. No, he didn't kneel, I think. He was like, I refused to kneel. He saw it hit and stood up still. Like, Rude. Yeah, he was on I guess. I don't know. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> Taking hold of his sword, now sword correctly, and bounding to the dire supporting the prince before the startled guards could regain their composure. Your sword? Why did you not disarm the prisoner? The man why the, the guy startled? The, the man just got sentenced to death, basically. Wait, he's, startled, he's, he's trying actually something. resisting arrest? We are terrible guards not to realise this. Agafund leaped Grignir and his... Leaped? Leaped yep. Grignir and his <laughs> sire. Leaps both are Grignir Wait, and his flies sire. over them and found yep. a sword blade permit... Perme permeating the length of his ribs <laughs> before he could loose to his by, weapon. By the way, it doesn't state it's Grigness. He's just like, oh, wouldn't you know I've been impaled by a sword this whole time. <laughs> he shouldn't have jumped. I'm just an advisor. What the fuck is this? <laughs> All right, let's get on to the blunty counselor. Right. The counselor slumped to his knees as Grigner slid his crimson blade from Agafon's ribcage. Oh, so oh, no. he snuffed it then. Yes, oh. Agafon's dead. Oh, well. <laughs> no, no, this isn't, well. This is, no, this isn't Agafon. There's an Amos. It's now Agafon. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is Agafon. <laughs> this is now the top he stabbed one of the He stabbed one of the letters out of his name. <laughs> Look at the next sentence, though. The fat prince stood undulating. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Why aren't the guards doing anything? In unsurmountable, no, insurmountable fear, before the edge of the fiery maned comet, <laughs> he's, just, he's suddenly made of ice and stone. <laughs> Wait, his... how did that comet get in here? His flabs of jellied blubber pulsating to and fro in ripples of flowing terror. Wait, is this before or after he gets high as fuck? Look at that guy. <laughs> I don't uh, know. I'm just wondering why the guards are just stood here going, <laughs> uh, we're not allowed to do anything in the cutscene, we'll just wait here. It's a, Basically, yeah, it's he's a... just sounded like, you know, Agafood would be really cool right now, man, if you could just fucking jump over me. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that sire. Oh, no, I found a sword in my chest. Oh, uh, Jeez, I shouldn't have smoked this thing. Whew. All right. Where is your wisdom and power now, you, your majesty? Growled Grigner. He just killed his advisor and is asking him nice. what... He's, he... advisor is he's the prince again. He's the prince again. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's gone from being a noble to a prince to a to king, the king to a noble back to a prince. This the prince guy has... rigid <laughs> as Grigner dis discerned him. Discerned. Also, notice discerned? that every time someone says somewhat, something, it's never said Grigner or anything like that. It's always now Grigner growls before the guy undulated something. Now it's... <laughs> It's, it's just a fucking thesaurus. He doesn't want to say prince twice in a row, so he just defaults Makes to noble or yeah. palace or accountant or whatever the Wait, fuck. I've like, always been be demoted to like librarian at one point. Just... <laughs> Probably. Oh, this this next bit will be good for you. Uh, where are we going? Uh, Brent Richard. Prince Richard, as Grigner discerned him, glazing over his shoulder. Yeah, he looks pretty glazed. 
What? Is Swivel to... What? No, no, that, that's, Amazing. That's, Isn't that's, that Yop? He yopped over that, his shoulder. That's not Swiveled. <laughs> that's not Swiveled. That's Swilived. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He Swilived to note the cause of the noble's attention. Raise his sword over his head and prepare to leash a vicious downward cleft. <laughs> that's yeah, a cute. fell short... <laughs> not, but, not Grigna's downward cleft. <laughs> but fell short as the haffy of steel rhymed pike. What? You can yep, tell Jim right. Tice has gotten excited right. while he was writing this. Oh god, oh god, it's combat. He's trying it's combat. to say the haft of a steel rimmed pike, but it's the haft of a steel though, rhymed it? pike. It's, yeah. just, it's the haffy of a steel rhymed pike. <laughs> this Clash is Grigna's signature spell. move here. Oh yeah, the helmet was removed. Oh yeah, Then blackness and solitude. Silence. <gasps> Silenceo? Silencio. Silencio. Enshrouding an ever peaceful reign supreme. Okay. Yep. Before me, Sarah. Before me, as always. Ha 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 ha. Nobly cackled. Nobly cackled, cackled, sir. I like to. I like to think this is this is Agafund, the guy Wait, who is spelled that properly. Is that nobly? That, that <laughs> is that is nobly. Nobly. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, that is nobly. You sure it doesn't? Nobly doesn't have any word yet. Uh, I think it does. Uh, oh. nobly. Uh, no, that is right. Oh, it's from a family of high rank. That is correct. Also, uh, notice how- that. Even he's used ellipses wrong, but he's actually using three dots in, instead of two, like fucking bokes, or four, like fucking bokes. It's three he, he, proper here ellipses. Is a, here is an ironic thing: he couldn't get uh, the uh, the halfy of a steel rhymed pike right, but he could get Sarah right. But not more importantly, why is this fat piece of shit able to beat up our Titan? He didn't. The so guards he, did. The guards wait, finally actually did something. But but wasn't the king? Hold on, the king was on the throne, presumably yes, at the top of some stairs or something. Yes, he was. Right. Grignir like, was up by that point. Grignir went, you know what, I'm actually going to charge. And I... Yeah, he's, he, he, he swallowed over to him. Yeah, yeah but, but then, then, right. then, then the guards Agafin. realized, wait, we have reach weapons here. No, they no, have what range. happened was, he was, st- he was moving towards the noble. I need a map for this and shit. And then, uh, then fucking, then fucking Agafin did some, uh, did some checkers type bullshit and jumped over the prince noble uh, then, accountant. Then Grignir mocks him. And then, 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 he, then he stabbed himself upon Grigna's sword, and then oh, yes. Grigna, Grigna is about to then, smite the Mo- noble, and they, then the guards show up because they took well, what that actually, long. It's actually quite a little clever here, because um, he's like, well, where's your wisdom and power now? The, the prince actually looks over, he looks over Grigna's shoulder, and he actually, instead of, you know, gutting the prince, goes, huh, I wonder why, wait, they have ranged weapons and, uh and then he just fought because suddenly he then realized he has a sword even though he's the size of a titan these guys have even longer the, these legendary uh, like um steel rhymed pikes oh yes and apparently they can knock people unconscious pikes don't knock people unconscious what they do is they skewer people you know so far Grigner's beaten up a few dudes he stabbed a couple of guys got a foot thrown at him and then got killed... duffed up in a palace ah but he killed yes. cowman remember he killed a cowman he did kill cowman nipples. <laughs> yeah, and he crushed nipples. He, and he, he re- saw a nose really? that wasn't see-through. Really? Ripping pepperoni, that lady. Conan breasts. would have actually been remarkably respectful to this man. Most Conan, likely, was, because... Conan was wise. Yes, Conan was wise. Conan would have not gone around crushing nipples and then <laughs> killing cow <laughs> No, a lot of people actually think Conan is dumb. But, uh, Conan, sorry, is dumb <laughs> because they they watch the Arnold movie and Arnold sort of comes across as a bit of a, a dope. Oh, but... is that the one where he asks that lady for directions? She gets naked, tries to have sex with him, turns into a snake woman, he throws her in a fire. Yes. Yeah. Ah, yeah. that's the one. Right, Conan, okay, Conan was a smart man. He was king for a while. Now we are on. We're on section three now. So that's me then. Uh, uh, consciousness returned to Grigna in Stygian pools as his mind gradually cleared of cobweb uh, of the cobwebs cluttering his inner recesses. Its inner recess. Fuck. Yet. Yeah. Okay, this sort of makes sense, but my my brain can't. So there are spiders these in his words. brain. Yes. Uh, right, makes sense now. Yet the Stygian cloud of charcoal ebony remained. Okay, how right. many times have we been Stygian here? Twice. Well, very, twice we're, we're in one sentence. Stygian. Um, yeah, twice in one sentence. <laughs> An incompatible shield of blackness enhanced by bleak absence of sound. Okay. This thing doesn't mesh with anything that I have here. <laughs> also, it's cool. Shield of blackness. Grigna's muddled brain reeled from the shock of the blow he had received to the base of his skull. With a pike. With a pike. Uh, you sort of can do that. You can hit them with the other end. Uh, usually the end of a pike has some. You see how long a pike is. Yeah, but if you hold it at the middle, uh, it's just as long to hit with the other end than is that it is the other one. Uh, one end as uh, this is the, is the other. I would also like to draw to your attention the the time period in which the pike was made. <laughs> I don't know what time period we're in. Where where are we? Are we in we in Swindon. Oh, sorry. You... 
The events like, leading to his predicament were slow to filter back to him. He dickered? Is that a yep. word? That is actually a word. Okay. Uh, with the notion that he had been dead and had descended or sunk, however it may be, to the shadow land beyond uh, the, the aperture of the grave. But rejected this hypothesis when his memory sifted back within his grips. And there's a the trying to flee <laughs> that's the sentence the next below. Slide. You that, know when you know someone just wrote something and it literally doesn't mean anything. It's just got, it's just I, like I, utter man, drivel. Man, I've got to edit this, but but I, my delete key's broken. Better just keep writing. But it's just like I'm going to write a story, and after like three pages, no one is going to know what the hell you know is what? going on. You know what? There's an easier way to write this. Let's see. Like, like Grigna reacts. Like you could just say Grigna held his head and wondered from the blackness if he had in fact passed the realm beyond. He decided against this, however, and considered his surroundings. There you go! Did it better! <laughs> but the thing about this is, writing with a typewriter, you can change letters by blotting them out and then putting another one in, but it's mm. difficult to add words. You have to rewrite the entire fucking thing. And I don't think Tice was asked. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I mean, uh, I can see why after looking at this. Can you imagine trying to rewrite <laughs> this damn thing? It's hard enough reading it. <laughs> but rejected oh. this hypothesis when his memory shifted back within its grips. This was not the land of the dead. It was something infinitely more the precarious <laughs> than anything the grave could offer. Death <laughs> promised an infinity of peace, not the fi fi finite, finite, or finite. E e e or, or it's or it's finito. Yeah, finito. Finite misery of an inactive life of confined <laughs> torture, forever concealed from the life-bearing shafts of the beloved rising sun. Life-bearing shaft. That sounds like something someone would say <laughs> also, in a hentai. Also, more orbs. <laughs> Satan, great God. Oh, God. The oh. orb that had been before <laughs> taken for granted, yet now cherished above all else to the forever refused further Hold glimpses on. of the snow Sorry, I gotta, I gotta of... stop a sec. Grigg has been underground for like 20 minutes. He's got severe <laughs> vitamin D deficiency now. This guy, <laughs> this guy has... Been actually, no, I think I figured it out. Grigg just has severe claustrophobia. Maybe. Like, but let's be honest, right? If he was unconscious for more than a few minutes, he'd be completely brain damaged to begin with. So he's been unconscious for a few minutes. He wakes up and goes, the we, have to, we have to realize, however, that his mind is, his head is so empty, there are spider webs in it. He's it's probably true. okay. The spider that, or he so got too close cushioned to the his machine. brain. Uh, that or he got too close to the dawn machine. To be yeah, forever sun. refused further sun. glimpses of snow capped summits of the land of his birth. Never again to witness the thrill of plundering unexplored lands beyond the crest of a bleeding horizon, and perhaps worst of all, the deny denial to ever again encompass the lustful excitement of caressing the naked curves of a body of a trim yound wench. <laughs> trim yound wench. What the fuck? They are they are a very different type of wench, the yound wench. Yeah, the yound wench. It's like a dire wench, but not quite. <laughs> it's Wait, like a dire wench. Chapter three and a half's coming up soon. It's like a regular wench, <laughs> but more yound. This was indeed one of the buried chasms of hell, concealed, uh, capitalized hell here, concealed within mm. the inner depths of the palace despised interior. A fearful ebony chamber devised to drive the, to, to the brinks of insanity the minds of the unfortunately condemned through the inapt solitude of limbo and listless dreary silence. Well, three and a half. Half. And, he, like, he's, and he's, he's been there like, like five minutes. He's, yep. Sire, we literally <laughs> just shut the door and he's already mad. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was like, this is Grignir the Barbarian. He's hardcore. He, like, he stabs dude, sleeps sleeps around, and he gets Sire, locked in the door. Sire, for five we, minutes. Don't, Sire, oh! we don't even need to lock him up. Just put a bag over his head. Five minutes later. <laughs> yeah. Ah, no! <laughs> yeah, he he's getting really confused. He's getting really confused. They just put he's like one of those fucking the, eagles. They put a little eyes. hat on him where that has no eyes. He's like, yeah. ah. <laughs> and he's like, this dude's in a bit. He's got a hat on. <laughs> The next page uh, is blue. Why? Uh, perhaps we have overestimated these barbarians. <laughs> we <laughs> should just attack them at night when they are wondering if the world has ended or not. <laughs> the fucking next page is blue. We went from yellow to yellower to almost fucking that piss is yellow. That's blue because of the mood he is in. Uh, oh, I see. I think when it's... We uh... to, when we get to uh, chapter four, I feel like we have to stop. Got some yeah, bits I mean, that, then but... we've done an hour and a bit, and I think that would be okay. Uh, for, uh, for, for, for right, whose go is it? Uh, uh, Me, I, I could I could carry this off if you wish. Uh, we... uh how are we? we... Oh god, yeah, no, this is this is this is a long one, I think. Uh a tightly run a lip a tightly run it there. Start again. This is rung, not run. <laughs> a tightly <laughs> rung elliptical circle of all torches cast their wavering <laughs> shafts, prancing morbidly over the smooth surface of a rectangular ridged altar. Expertly chiselled forms of grotesque gargoyles grace the oblique rim 
protuberating the length of the grim <laughs> orifice of death, staring forever ahead into nothingness in complete ignorance of the bloody rites enacted in their presence. Brown flaking stains decorated the golden surface of the ridge surrounding the altar, which banked to the so to a small slit at the lower right corner of the altar. So it's just sort of banking like a, like a boat or something. <laughs> the good. slit stood above a crudely pounded pail, which had several silver mesh chalices hanging at its sides, dangling at the rim of golden mallet, the handle of which was engraved with the images of twisted faces and groved at its far end with slots designed for a smug for a uh, snug hand grip. The head of the mallet was slightly larger than a clenched fist and shaped into a smooth oval mass. And that there was altar description porn. What's happening? Is, is this, is that, this, that's just an altar. That is, is, is this like when, of... when Tolkien's hungry and spends five pages writing about blueberry pie or something? <laughs> yeah, but like with, with less altar. skill. Encircling the marble altar was a congregation of leering shaman. Shaman. Eerie okay. chants of a bygone age, originating unknown eons before the memory wait, 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 of Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, sorry. Let me, I need to go for a minute. He yeah. was in the Stygian abyss that contains nothing, hold on, wait. This is I elsewhere. Don't, I don't think he's here. Wait, so, we, wait, this, so he's somewhere else now? This is elsewhere. No, but he's not the, here at all. He's this is setting, something else. He's setting something up, I think. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. oh, I'm so sorry. I was about to say, because the Stygian he, abyss was silent, these apparently. These are before the memory of man, so maybe these are cow people. I don't know. I don't know, God. yeah. Eerie chants of a bygone age, originating unknown eons before the memory of man, were being uttered from the buried recesses of the Acolyte's deep links. Acolytes now, not shaman anymore. <laughs> Acolyte's deep wait, links. Hold on, they're going to be priests in a second. What the fuck no, is no, a deep wait. ling? <laughs> we may never know. Is it orange, like a tiny Asian man? Orange paint was smeared in generous globules over the tops of Thuru priests' wrinkled priests shaven now. scalps, while golden rings projected from the lobes of their pink ears. Ornate robes of uh, luscior purple satin enclosed their bulging torsos, attached around their waists with silvered silk la uh, lashes, latched with ebony buckles in the shape of morose misshaped skulls. Dangling around their necks, oval-fashioned medallions held by thin gold chains, featuring in their centers blood-red rubies, spelt incorrectly, which resembled crimson fetish eyeballs. Cushioning their bare feet were plush red felt slippers with pointed gold <laughs> spikes projecting from their tips. So they've got these like horrific, like culty kind of things. They've got these really comfy old slippers on. Ooh, this is <laughs> well, nice. Yes, they're just like, well, what a bunch of things to do. We'll get into our little uh, like cultist night guard. Oh, Steve, Steve, you, you didn't bring the correct footwear. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's like, yeah. These Steve. are far more. No, wait, 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 these are far more comfortable. Oh, We're going to be standing for a while, so you want your feet well uncushioned. It Did needs you... to be good. Situated in front of the altar, and directly adjacent to the copper pail, was a massive jade idol. A misshaped, hideous bust of the shaman's pagan okay, deity. Okay, they're shamans again. They were shaman, then they were acolytes, then they were priests, <laughs> the priest, now they're shamans, they're shamans again. So I think yep. they'll be acolytes again next. I'm, I'm betting here. Yep. The shimmering green idol was placed in a sitting posture on an ornately carved golden throne, raised upon a rond. Devori plated dais. Its bulging <laughs> arms and webbed hands... Devori? Yes, Devori. <laughs> As opposed to ivory, I guess. Yep, Devori is better. Okay. Its bulging arms and webbed hands resting on the padded arms of the seat. Its Devori head is was a musical group. Drone jazz. <laughs> its head was entwined in golden snake, like coils hanging over its oblong ears, which tapered off to thin hollow points. Its nose was a bulging triangular mass, <laughs> sunken in at its sides with toe-gaping nostrils. Dramatic beneath... The nostrils was a twisted, shaggy-lipped mouth, giving the impression of a slovering, sadistic grimace. It's physically painful reading this, isn't yes, it? Yes, let's get to it's four and then, then call it yep. for now. At the foot of the heathen deity, a slender, pale-faced female, naked but for a golden, jeweled harness enshrouding her huge, outcropping breasts, supporting long silver laces which extended to her thigh, stood before the pearl-white field with noticeable shivers travelling up and down the length of her exquisitely moulded body. Her delicate lips trembled beneath soft, narrow hands as she attempted to conceal herself from the piercing stare of the ambivalent idol. If it's ambivalent, it's not much of a piercing <laughs> stare, is it? Exactly. It doesn't like... give a shit. <laughs> a good stare, or not, I don't really care. Yeah, Glaring it. directly down towards her was the stony, cycloptic face of the bloated deity. Gaping from its single, obling socket was scintillating, many-fauceted scarlet emerald, a brilliant gem seeming to possess a life all its own, a, print, a priceless gleaming stone, capable of domineering oh. the wealth of conquering empires. Oh. 
the eye of Argon. Wow. Title drop. End of chapter. Oh, three yeah. And a half. End of chapter. And next time we shall return where all knowledge of measuring time has this great Grigner. This is his fate now. Well, when it, when you are deprived of the sun, moon, and stars, that will happen. <laughs> Fucking idiot. This is five minutes later. He's like... Oh, okay. yeah, he's, just, he's still got the hat on. He's like... Oh. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's stop it for here, but uh, yeah. Nice. Time for listening, man. And uh, GN. See you later. See, see, say GN to the mentor. Oh, Jim. There you go. All right.